Hello friends, myself Vivi Vankar. Today, in this video, I am going to discuss the Fourier sign transfer. So this is my second video on Fourier sign transfer. So in my previous video, I have discussed the definition of Fourier sign transfer and inverse Fourier sign transfer, and also I have solved one problem based on the Fourier sign transfer. So in this video, so I am going to solve one more problem on Fourier sign transfer. So we'll take one example here. Find Fourier sign transfer of f of x equal to x here x lies between 0 and 1 2 minus x here x lies between 1 and 2 and 0 for x greater than 2 so in this example the function is divided into three different ranges solution solution so first i will write the formula for fourier sign transfer which is given by square root of 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity f of x into sin sx into dx so this is the formula so as per the given problem as it is divided into three different ranges so i will split the this integral 0 to infinity into three different ranges by using the properties of definite integral therefore fs of s is equal to so i will write here square root of 2 upon pi as it is so the first range i will divide as 0 to 1 as per the given problem f of x into sin sx into dx plus integration the second range is 1 to 2 so i will write here 1 to 2 f of x sin sx into dx plus the third one is x greater than 2 so i will write like this 2 to infinity f of x sin sx into dx therefore fs of s is equal to square root of 2 upon pi so i will write as it is integration so between 0 and 1 the f of x value is x so that is 0 to 1 x into sin sx into dx plus between 1 to 2 the value of f of x is 2 minus x so therefore 1 to 2 2 minus x into sin sx into dx between 2 to infinity the function f of x is 0 so plus 0 into anything is 0 now so i will integrate these two terms with respect to x so integrate these two terms I am going to use generalized by parts soon. So the formula is like this uv into dx is equal to I will write u as it is integration of v is v1 minus derivative of u is u dash integration of v1 is v2 plus integration of u dash is u double dash 
so the derivative of u u dash u double dash and integration of v2 is v3 minus plus 1 up to infinity so this is what generalized by parcel so i'm going to use this thread here we can see this is u and this is v here i have applied late rule that is l i a t e as per the late rule i have arranged the term so here u is 2 minus x and this is what v so now i integrate this one therefore fs of s is equal to so we will write here square root of 2 upon pi as it is so first i will integrate this one with respect to x so right i will, I will write first term as it is x integration of v is v1 that is sin x is minus cos sx upon s in formula we have minus sign derivative of x is 1 integration so we will carry minus here integration of cos x cos sx is sin sx upon s here i already we have 1s so it becomes sin sx upon s square so plus so now i will integrate this one so here this is what between the limit 0 to 1 plus so i will write 2 minus x as it is 2 minus x integration of sin sx again this is what minus cos sx upon s in formula of minus sign derivative of 2 minus x is minus 1 this one in integration of cos sx upon x is so I will carry minus n as it is. So it becomes sin sx upon s square. So this is what between the limit 0, 1, 2, 2. So now I will simplify this one. fs of s is equal to. So I will write here square root of 2 upon pi. So this is what minus x cos sx upon s here minus into minus become plus plus sin sx upon s square between the limit 0 to 1 so plus 2 minus x I will write as it is with minus sign cos sx upon s cos sx upon s minus into minus into minus it becomes again minus sin sx upon s square between 1 to 2 so now I will put the limits fs of s is equal to so i will write here square root of 2 upon pi as it is so first i will simplify this one here the upper limit is 1 so i will put here 1 so if i put upper limit as 1 so it becomes so I'm here I'm using different brackets 1 that is minus cos s into 1 is s upon s this is plus sin s upon s square so this is upper limit minus lower limit lower limit is 0 0 into anything is 0 here if I put x equal to 0, s into 0 is 0, sin 0 is 0, 0 plus 0. So this is the first bracket. Plus in second brackets, so I will write minus as it is. Again here upper limit in second part is 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0, in a 0 into anything is 0, 0 minus this is sin. 2s 
upon a square this is upper limit minus lower limit here lower limit is 1 minus 2 minus 1 is 1 with minus sign so cos s upon yes here also I will put x equal to 1 so this is sin s upon s square so this is second part so therefore fs of s is equal to square root of 2 upon pi so now I will simplify this one so I will write here minus cos s upon s plus sin s upon s square so this is minus sin 2s upon s square minus into minus plus this is cos s upon s minus into minus plus again this is sin s upon s square here minus cos s upon s and plus cos s upon s get cancelled so therefore fs of s is equal to square root of 2 upon pi here we are having one sin s upon s and here we are having one more sin s upon s so i will add this one it becomes 2 sin s upon s square minus sin 2s upon s square so this is the Fourier sine transform of the given function so if you like this video you can subscribe my channel with tell one card thank you